Hello everybody, this is Backblast. Here I am again on Royal Burger Zoo within Planet Zoo. And what we've got here is the desert area. So I'm saying that this building is finished. Uh, pretty much finished anyway. I've obviously not done all the trees and things that are around the building yet, but uh, they'll get done off off camera. You don't need to see those. Uh, and also there's a few other little bits. Um, I believe there's a building in here somewhere. Uh, that I don't know anything about yet, so I um, I need to get some information before I, I, I put things like that in. Uh, and also, um, the there's a building or, or a space underneath the walkway here, which the space is there, and there's a couple of exhibits in there. I just haven't done uh, the full walkway, which goes all the way over to the bush building over there. So when I do the bush building, I'll do the walkway and um, and that'll get finished in there. But for now, I'm saying that this building is completely done. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a little walk through there uh, and then I'll show you uh, a top down view uh, with the roof off so you can see it in all its glory, really. There's two things I want to cover first. So the first thing is, in fact, there's three things. So the first thing is um, if you click most of my buildings and then press X uh, to get the the uh, various um, axes like that um, most of the buildings that I build uh, the roofs come off them so if ever you download this from the workshop um, then you can get to the building and you can see it in all its glory and um, and work on it or whatever you need to do or just get in there easier um, which is is fantastic um, right so the other things I wanted to mention were um, I had a comment uh, the other day which was about um, well actually it was a rather unhelpful comment so somebody said um, one of the buildings um, I, I'm, no they said um, you're using an old map okay right that's fine um, one of the buildings uh, that you've got planned out has been demolished okay and also some of the heights in the zoo are wrong thanks for the comment uh but it's not very helpful if you don't tell me which building it is that isn't there anymore i can't do anything about it um as for using the wrong heights again tell me where they're wrong and uh, at least then i can look at it or do something about it and the third thing is i'm you might think i'm using an old map but i what I'm doing is I'm using Google Maps, um, which is the most up to date that I've got. And um, I'm afraid that I'm stuck with that unless I get any better information. Um, having said that, uh, I have uh, I have been in contact with the zoo, uh, some people from the zoo at least. Uh, and I want to say a big thank you to uh, Royal Burger Zoo for uh, pointing me in the right direction with a few things. So, for example, I didn't know where all the pathways went in here. It's hard to tell from Google Maps. Um, I reached out to the zoo and they were very helpful and pointed out where uh, where the various pathways and things went, which is uh, very, very helpful for me, which was fantastic. Thank you very much to the Royal Burger Zoo for helping. So uh, without further ado, let's have a quick walk through the area. Now, it will be a quick walk. I don't want to be spending too much time in here having a good look around, um, as we've seen some of it anyway with the, the uh, peccary video. Um, what I'll do is I'll show you inside some of these enclosures after I've had a walk around, uh, but I'll just show you the outside for now. So this is the uh, Bobcat area, which uh, works quite well. This is a mesh front, and of course we can't do meshes in game, but that works quite well. Let's have a walk up and have a look at the the various goats. Again, we haven't got the correct goats in game. Uh, we do have these, which are uh, substituting for goats. Uh, the goats we have got in uh, in game, the the doll sheep which are the closest to what are in here. Uh, they needed a much larger area. So I could get away with putting a few of these in here, but the dial sheep themselves were a, a little bit too uh, too space hungry. So let's go and have a look through here. So just a different view of the enclosure. We're going to stick our head through the hole. That's uh, not that helpful. Yeah. Dodgy camera. Okay, let's have a walk down here. So there's a couple of bits where I've taken a couple of liberties. So this is one of them. Oh, stop scrolling like that. Thank you. Um, there's a couple of exhibits here. 
in real life and uh, there's just no room for them in game because the paths are too wide in game and so i had to uh, I had to put an exhibit in down here which is um it's okay i i, I thought it was a good enough uh, compromise so the scorpions in there at the moment and what we're going to do now is we're going to walk down and have a look at the bottom of this enclosure pretty good there we go i, I want this to be a, a quick scout round i don't really want to be spending too much time on it i um i'm aware that very soon you'll be able to download this from the workshop so you can have a good look around yourselves but i just wanted to show you some of the work that i've been doing and um hopefully it'll spur you on to uh, your own creations uh, we have um there's a, a a drinks shop in there and there's a food shop down there and there is a a, a a toilet up at the top there as there is in real life oh there's also a, a staff walkway that runs from here into the elephant building um, and it just allows them to get to the staff restroom uh, a lot quicker than walking out of this building into the others um we've now got the peccaries uh we don't have any wild pigs but we do have a wild boar in game so that's uh, what we've got in here and all i've done with these the feeding area and the mud bit is i placed them in and then i just raised the land around them so that the edges are hidden now let's go back up here now this particular part of the zoo is going to be fairly quiet for visitors at the moment i've only just opened the zoo to visitors so they are sort of filtering in now and um so there, there aren't so many around this area but there are visitors in the zoo uh, this is um an owl and a roadrunner area again this is a mesh um hard to uh hard to get it right in game um but again it's all there it's all there uh, there is in real life a staff walkway that goes down into a tunnel over there uh, we can't do that in game the pathways are too wide again which is uh, a real issue um, so I've put the door in but not the path I did try and put the pathway in so this is the uh, the end of uh, another free flight area so we'll, we'll go and have a look at that in a minute but we are just sort of rushing through this a little bit so you can see around again no room for a proper exhibit here so i've recreated roughly what it looks like and there is another exhibit here which doesn't fit because of pathways and restrictions and uh, having massive exhibits in game that aren't necessarily massive in real life so this was the other end of that free flight area so this area does have a, a, a net above it in real life and this is a uh, one of those plastic strip doors and there are some birds in here normally so let's go out of here and we're back near the start so let's just take you up above there's a few interesting little bits to see so uh, a brief a brief flyover like this what i've done is i've hidden a um a cash machine in in this building so you can't see it when you walk through but obviously the people in the park will know it's there um, because there are no exhibits over in this corner uh, the the roadrunner and, and owl area is there but there's obviously no birds in it in game because we don't have free flying birds in game in order to get staff uh, uh, in order to get visitors over to this side uh, i've put the cash machine in there so at least when they run out of money they'll be walking down and round this bit so it'll make it look as though they're using the full zoo that was the peccary area, the uh, warthogs, and the canteen, and then over to the goats. So there was a couple of interesting bits that I said I built. So we do have uh, the staff areas. I'm aware that this isn't quite set up right, uh, and that the uh, there's a corridor here, and then the e the entrance to the actual sleeping bit is here. I had it like this originally, but the staff couldn't get into fill all of the food and water bits so i had to I had to readjust where everything was in there uh, the other one is over here in real life these are there are some hidden doors in here and there's another one in this building um allowing the staff to get into the backstage areas so i haven't put too much in here there's a few little bits and bobs that, but it'd be nice if we had brushes and and shovels and things 
that we could hang on the walls, but unfortunately not. Uh, this is the backstage for the Bobcat area. So in real life, this is two enclosures uh, with a, a gap in with a solid partition in between. But this is just a, a, a rough example of what it looks like. And there we go. And that's the inside of the Bobcat area, complete with various water pools and uh, and the window at the front. So that's all pretty cool. And that's that. So um, I'm not going to go into any more detail with it. You, you've pretty much seen it. We've had a quick walk around. Um, you're aware there's a, a few food and drink shops. There's toilets in there. A couple of exhibits. Um, we do have the scorpions, which are in there. And there will be two more exhibits that go underneath this building when I do the pathway that connects the two uh, main buildings. Um, at the moment, it is walkable round into here. But the path doesn't go anywhere apart from to about there. And that's about it. So there you go. So I hope you've uh, enjoyed the little overview of the desert area, which exists in the Royal Burger Zoo. I think I've done a pretty good job. So if ever you wanted to go and visit the zoo, this is a, a rough approximation of what you'd find in there. And um, I hope that uh, you've enjoyed watching this video. I'm... Got nothing else to say on it really it's um it's not yet in the steam workshop i'll, I'll do a video that uh, lets you know when it's going to be available but at the for the time being you'll have to just wait until i get to upload it and that's about it so uh thanks very much i've sort of rushed through this video a little bit uh, i am pushed for time today so i'm sorry about that but i hope that you've enjoyed looking at the finished thing so that's it my name's backblast i'll catch you next time